Hi everyone, my name is Kirsten Holt and I'm a physiotherapist and MSc student from the University of Calgary. I'm currently working out of the Faculty of Kinesiology, specializing in rehabilitation. So my own research focuses on differentiating dizziness subtypes following acute concussion, but today's video is going to give you some postural tips and tricks that you can use throughout the course of this conference, as well as hopefully take them home and to work as well. Before we dive into the tips, I want to briefly touch on the state of the research regarding posture. In 2020, a systematic review on systematic reviews was conducted by Swain et al. and could not support the claim that poor posture led to lower back pain. It did find an association, however. This is interesting in contrast with other studies that have shown a correlation between different factors in back pain. Some of these include exercise, education level, job satisfaction, stress, and smoking. Although the evidence does not support causation between the two, we all have anecdotal experiences of having discomfort or back pain following a day hunched over a computer. You might even be experiencing this right now. It isn't surprising that certain structures get stressed after being the only muscles to maintain that position for hours on end. Imagine doing a research project all on your own without enlisting the support of others. You'd be pretty stressed too. The key to remedying this discomfort is movement variability. It's important to have a movement cue to remind you to get off your butt. Yours might be the end of a presentation during the conference, could be a commercial when you're watching TV, or you could set a timer on your phone for every hour to remind you to get up. Once you have your cue, you need to decide what you're going to do during your little mini break. Now this might be just getting up, walking around your kitchen, could be going outside for some fresh air, or you could try one of these two easy exercises. Scapular retraction, so sitting up nice and tall, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then relaxing. Repeat that 10 times. Or thoracic rotation, arms across the chest and rotating to one side and then the other side slowly to help loosen up the upper back. Switch up where you're sitting. You might start working at your office at the office desk, but why not move to the living room couch, to the dining table? You can even stand up in your kitchen and use the counter for a while. This is important because it gets you up and moving, but it also switches which muscle groups are working the most. If you're someone who already suffers from lower back pain, or you're more prone to lower back pain after sitting for prolonged periods, then this is a good trick for you. Try rolling up a bath towel and placing it in the curve of your lumbar spine. This will act as a natural support for your lumbar spine as well as encouraging optimal posture. Make sure to set time aside for planned exercise. This can be as short as 10 minutes and as easy as going for a walk with your significant other, doing a HIIT workout in your office, or even doing a YouTube yoga video. The important thing is that you'll get a good energy boost, a mood boost, and your back will thank you for it. Now, any good physiotherapist couldn't do an educational piece on posture without giving exercise advice. So I'll leave you off with four of my favorite exercises after a sedentary day, and hopefully you can take advantage of them too. The levator scapula stretch. Bring your chin to your chest and rotate towards your armpit. Hold for 30 seconds and switch to the opposite side. Thread the needle. This is an excellent exercise for thoracic rotation mobility. Complete 10 repetitions per side. Prone ITWY. Ensure to squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift your arms up off the floor between each movement. Make sure your movements are slow and controlled. Perform five repetitions of each letter. Thoracic extension. Hold for two sets of 30 second repetitions. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope that you learned something new. If you have any questions or you'd like to discuss other perspectives on posture, I'd be happy to connect with you. Enjoy the rest of the conference.